managers here to take your questions on the game if you'd like to put your hand up. Chelsea, what pleased you most about that performance and that result today? Win. Uh, because uh, many times this season we deserved to win and we didn't. So the fact that we won the match was the most important thing. But I think uh, the quality of our performance, based on confidence levels, really high. And I'm not going to say that the performance was perfect because it wasn't perfect. We made we made our mistakes. In we have room for improvement, obviously. But it was a solid performance, and uh, I liked the attitude in the second half. Winning one nil, come to the game and try and try to score more goals. Uh, after two nil, we had a little bit of a relaxation, and was a period where uh, Slaven brought uh, Sako and they create a couple of situations in the box. But then again, good stability, good confidence levels, desire to play until the end. So good, really good. Jose, I think uh, Manu Matic has given the man of the match award to that. Was there any surprise at all regarding the Chelsea willing to, to let him go this summer? You know, depends on depends on what is happening or what was happening behind doors and we don't know and we don't know um, the only thing I know is that uh, of course with Chelsea money but I brought him to Stamford Bridge because I thought he was a player with with special qualities and since um, I left. I always thought that he could be a perfect player for us, but I didn't disturb him. I didn't disturb Chelsea. I I never thought it was possible unless something special was happening, and it looks like something was happening because his agent told me, "You can have him. You just have to pay." So we have him, and we are very happy with 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 that. Because he's a player that our team, that our team needs, um, and now we have with this kind of qualities we have Nemanja and uh, and Michael Carrick, and Michael, in spite of his age, he has a role to play. So I'm I'm happy with these players that I call stability players. Josie, you decided not to uh, put Victor and the end of in the squad today. Uh, was that purely technical? I think uh, I think uh, Real Madrid was too early for him. He played because Jones and B they were both uh, suspended. I had um, players coming from different leagues to the Premier League, and normally it's not easy. The difference between Lukaku and Matic is exactly that Lukaku and Matic they have years and years of the Premier League. I brought in 2004 a phenomenal central defender to England, Ricardo Carvalho. He was one of the best central defenders in the last decade in the Premier League, but he struggled. It was difficult for him to come and to adapt in the beginning. I think Victor needs a little bit of uh, a little bit of time, and uh, he's going to have that that time. Uh, Mikitarian is not a, a defender, and last season he needed his time. So let's go step by step, because Victor is a fantastic player. Georgie, the first game last season you won very well at Bournemouth. Is it possible to quantify how <coughs> much better you are now than you were then? You know, I think uh, last season we were also top of the league with goals in the first in the first uh, match, and we finished sixth. So this means nothing. I want to make it uh, clear. This just means that we played well and with confidence levels really high. And now our challenge is to keep, to keep. I'm not saying this level of result because in the Premier League is not, <laughs> it's not often that you win 4-0. Uh, 
but to keep these confidence levels, I think we, as I told, we can be a better team than we were last season. I think we can. Second transfer window for us. Uh, now 13 months of, uh, of work together, so we have better conditions to be a better team. Could we have your question in English, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, congrats about the victory. I was out with the with the fans with the uh, game itself, and they were really happy. Uh, and they tell that uh, they have a lot of illusion for this season about the team with you. They think they, you can win the league. What do you think about this? About this illusion, this performance for the start. You know, we finished the season winning the the Europa League and qualifying for Champions League. We start the second season with a very good performance at home. We had two new players on the pitch with 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 a very good impact. The fans they have reasons to be optimistic because we also we also are optimistic. But uh, you know, to for me, years and years of uh, experience and years of years of experience in the Premier League, and my feet are, are on the ground and uh, I'm calm. Okay, last question. Uh, sorry, the car feels well twice today. How important is it for him to get off the mark to me so early on? And what will that do for his confidence going forward? Because there was obviously there was such a big move, there was so much expectation around it. You know, he's scoring the Super Cup, he scored today, he's playing well, he's working hard, he likes the team, the team likes him. And for any striker, goals are... Uh, they, can, they can play phenomenal well, but if they don't score goals, the pressure is on them. So I think uh, good for him, good for Wayne Rooney, for Lacassette, for Morata, for all the guys arriving in new clubs and scoring goals in, in the first day is always... Is always Oxygen is always happiness and confidence for them. Romelo knows me well. He knows he knows that sometimes strikers they can play very well for the team without scoring goals. He knows that from me, no pressure at all. But today was was good and uh, very effective, very objective in the first goal, especially. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you.